Edwina, thanks for your time. Now, we've got the third annual Vogue Codes Summit coming up in June. Can you tell me a little bit about it and also, I guess, what you're trying to achieve out of it? So Vogue Codes was born out of a desire to really inspire more women to get involved with careers in technology or consider careers in technology. And not even so much as, say, becoming um, learning coding necessarily, but becoming tech literate because every career is now touched by technology and yet um, numbers in terms of, say, computer engineering um, and studying uh, at university are plummeting in terms of women being involved. So somehow we needed to start a conversation around why is this happening, why are less women involved in technology and tech-created careers than men. Coming up to the, the, th the, um, the third iteration of it, are you seeing those type of outcomes already? Uh, the numbers have improved, but they're still pretty poor overall. Um, I think it's dropped to about 13% um, in Sydney in terms of women going into, into engineering specifically. Um, definitely more women are attending Vogue Codes than ever before. We've now got three times the numbers coming live and huge numbers um, engaging online. So we know that more women are having, you know, having this discussion. Um, I was really buoyed last year by the amount of young women who attended our first Vogue Codes Lives um, uh, event who actually came up to me and said, you know, thank you afterwards and that they were going to listen to their mother and not give up math <laughs> as well. <laughs> There's pretty extraordinary numbers when you look at it. 200 the first year, 2000 the second year. What are we looking at this year? We'll get up near 3,000 pretty easily. We've got a very big event in Melbourne. Um, we've got Eva Chen, who is um, Instagram's kind of pin-up girl, coming out to speak. Um, we've got incredible guests in the Sydney Summit and also the live event. Uh, the children's event, which we've had to put on a whole separate day now. It used to be on the same day as live, but it's just so big that it needs a, a day for itself. Um, it got registered within hours, and so we'll be doing hundreds and hundreds of, of children. It just feels like you've got this fantastic momentum with it is this something that can go that can travel the world with the Vogue brand definitely so Vogue is interested um, internationally in launching Vogue codes um, and in fact uh, Estee Lauder a big um, cosmetic obviously company is very interested in, in how they might take that global um, with Vogue so it's something that really has appealed to the Vogue brand and Condé Nast our parent company um, are right behind you know how we might launch this you got to feel pretty proud of how that's going yes there are many many clever things or innovations that actually come out of Australia I think Australians are very good at things like this coming up with good IP um, translating that and translating that to the world so yeah we're, we're really proud of it and also I think it's a great way to leverage the appeal of the Vogue brand you know Vogue does appeal to young women more mature women it has a really broad audience especially um, in terms of social media. So being able to leverage that to have a conversation around a less, I guess, glamorous topic like tech, um, I think has been really um, purposeful and, and great.